Hello guys, this is Adip. Welcome to my channel Movement Science, where I simplify biomechanics and lot of ortho topics with Joe. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also check me out on Instagram, where I post pictures of my notes and also put out daily MCQs with which you can brush up your biomechanics. The reference time for all the topics that I'm going to cover will be mentioned down in the description. So check that out and let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about the pathology of the hip joint and this will be the last part that is the fracture. Under fracture, we will be covering the site of the fracture, the risk factors and then what happens with age. Okay, so let's start with the topic. So starting with the site, the femoral neck is a very common site for fracture at the hip joint. The zone of weakness, which we have talked about previously also, which is over here, the blue part which falls between the lateral system, the medial compressive system, which are the arrangement of the cancellous bone, right? So all these systems which are present, there is a space between them which doesn't have a proper arrangement, which is called as the zone of weakness, which is a pretty common uh, fracture site, okay? The superior, posterior and lateral part of the femoral neck is also a portion where uh, fracture can occur pretty often. Now going to the age, the most common age is past 65 okay past 65 the chances of femoral neck fracture is very common and also there are high chances in women that is 42 percent up to 42 percent so if you look at the age properly in your 70s you will be five times more likely to have a fracture than compared to your 65 to 74 years of age gap uh, basically when you are within your 65 to 74 you are 30 times more likely to have a fracture than compared to your 45 to 65 age gap so basically at a higher age especially in this period between 65 to 74 you are very likely to have a fracture and this often occurs due to a backward fall that is happening due to your balance issues now there are high chances of fracture with loss of cortical bone and cancellous bone and this bone loss can be seen with age okay so bone density reduces by 2% every year after you're 50 so this is something I've already mentioned that as you start aging your bone loss starts increasing and there are higher chances of fracture and especially in women this is even more magnified now your gait speed and longer step length can also be correlated to your bone density if someone has a greater uh, speed of walking and a higher step length it means that he has a better bone density compared to someone who will have a lesser speed in walking. And now to finally conclude, hip fracture accounts for about half of the fractures that lead to mortality. And this has a pretty big reason that is the avascular necrosis and also it's a hip fracture. So it kind of puts you in a very sedentary state. So there will be avascular necrosis. Why will this happen? Because of the poor blood supply at the neck of the femur as we all know and also poor healing. So as we have seen in our videos that the neck and the head of the femur it's inside the capsule surrounded by the synovial fluid. So when there is a fracture over here the healing is impeded by your synovial fluid right and also the blood supply is not that great and also considering that the neck is the only part which supports your head of the femur and the whole shaft it has lot of demands on it. So all these reasons combined together create a very unsupportive condition for your neck of the femur to heal right so this is why avascular necrosis is also commonly seen at this site so with that we finish off the topic now let's summarize what did we see we saw the zone of weakness at the neck of the femur which is very common site and also avascular necrosis can occur over there because of the synovial fluid and the other reasons then we also saw how age is a big factor when we are talking about the fracture at the hip joint, especially the neck. So as you turn 50, after that every year your bone density starts reducing by 2% and this is even more magnified in women. Also we saw that the age group of 65 to 74 are highly prone of having a fracture, right? And this often occurs due to loss of balance and falling backward which can cause a fracture at the hip joint mostly the neck of the femur 
so with that we finish up this topic and also the hip series finally i know this series took me a while to finish but that was mostly because of my classes starting and i had to balance a lot of things but now hopefully i'll start with the next one that is the spine and i'll try my best to cover as many topics as possible as soon as possible so stay tuned for that that's all for today guys thank you for watching if you like my content please share it with your friends don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please like the video as it really helps me out and also let me know in the comment section what other videos you would like me to cover and see you soon in the next video